Hello and welcome to at another video tutorial from Encryption. In this video, I'll show you how to change a Linux terminal that prompts something like dash bash dash foofain2. This kind of prompt in the Linux terminal may appear with a number of causes. The one is uh, when you create a new user with the custom home directory. The other is that the dot bash files are placed in the different directory than the user's root directory or they are removed accidentally from the user's root or home directory. And the other cause may be that the prompt variable, which is $PS1, is not set and the built-in default variable slash s uh, minus slash b dollar is used. Now let's see how to get the interactive base terminal prompt in Linux for whatever cause that's changed to bash-4.2. I have created a user named Christina in this Linux machine with the custom home directory. As you can see, uh, currently I am logged in as the root user. I'm going to switch the current user login to Christina. As we can see, the user's prompt is dash bash dash 4.2. First of all, uh, let's check which cell is being used. Echo, double quotation, dollar symbol, S S E L L and the double quotation close. The result as we can see is slash bin slash bash. That means there is no problem with the type of bash cell that's being currently used. Moving on, let's check in the user's home directory or root directory if the required dot bash files exist. For this, we can simply list all the files including the hidden in the user's root directory, which is the tilde slash. The directory does not contain any bash file. Before creating the dot bash files on the user's root directory, it's better to check if the file exists on the different directory. Alternatively, the dot bash files may be found on the slash etc slash scale directory. We can see the files there. Now as the next step, we need to copy the two files to the user's home directory. Before you actually perform the copy operation, it's better to check the ownership of the home directory. If the home directory was created by the root user, you may require administrative privilege to copy the .bash files. In my case, the directory is owned by both root user and root group. In this case, we will require to use super user privilege to perform copy or any other write or modify operations. Again, if we do ls space hyphen a slash etc slash scale, we can see the dot bash files. Now out of the listed files, let's copy dot bash underscore profile and dot bash rc files to the root directory of the user. To verify, let's do ls space hyphen a space tilde slash. We can see the files there. Now to get the new changes into effect, you can just run exec space bash. Now we have got what we have expected. Okay guys, this is how we can change the Linux terminal prompt from dash bash dash 4.2 to more interactive and fancier prompt. That's all for this video. I hope the video was useful to you. Please subscribe the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. See you in other videos. Till then, have a nice time. Goodbye.